Of the 12 men that walked on the moon, how many of those were Eagle Scouts? Hey, Scout Stan, let's talk about the meaning of being an Eagle Scout. It is a huge responsibility that many young people take on. Taking on that responsibility is huge, especially at a very young age. And it is a lifetime commitment to the core values of scouting. It is absolutely amazing that young scouts out there who are achieving this should be praised for all that they're doing because it takes a lot to become an Eagle Scout. An Eagle Scout is extremely rare. And we're going to talk about how rare the Eagle Scout is. And it is amazing to me, and should be to you, how important it is for young people to adopt a life of service to others. That is incredibly important, especially today. Today's youth are literally pulled in every direction, whether it be school or sports or band, you name it. There is so many other things that can interrupt their path to Eagle. As adult leaders, we need to encourage scouts to kind of focus in on that goal of becoming an Eagle. So many want to become an eagle, but they don't know the path on how to do that. And that is super critical for adult leaders to be there to help in that regard. Now I'm going to put a, a very rare thing. I'm going to put it right up there. That is a playlist for mentoring Eagle Scouts. Now that is only for the adults. Uh, the youth they need to be part of that, but they don't need to really see that particular series, okay? That, that is something that needs to be presented in the correct order to the youth so that they can be motivated and really achieve the goal of becoming an eagle. It's rare that I do a playlist, but that one is awesome, and it will take some time to go through. And you will quickly discover that it is worth it. I have mentored many scouts to Eagle, and they have achieved more than they ever thought they could. And it is amazing to me how important this Eagle Scout rank really is. Now, the Eagle Scout rank first started, the very first one, was in 1912. And since that time, there has been almost 3 million Eagle Scouts. Currently, 8% of all registered Scouts actually achieve Eagle. That means that if you have a troop of 14 Scouts, only one will actually achieve the goal of becoming an Eagle Scout. In the United States, we have about 75 million eligible youth for scouting. And of that, only 1% actually enroll in scouting. You have to be a scout in order to be an Eagle Scout. You have to go through all of the training and all of the ranks and all of that leadership responsibilities that has to be done and if you're a youth outside of scouting you don't even have that opportunity of achieving a goal of becoming an Eagle Scout so at the end of the day we're talking less than a percentage <laughs> less than one percent of youth become an Eagle Scout that is extremely rare now scouting as a scout movement teaches morals and ethics to make good decisions. And we live by a code, the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. Today, in many places, that may be uh, controversial. But unfortunately, that's the time we are in and we need to turn that around. Now, all Scouts that achieve any kind of rank within 
Scouting should be very proud of that. Some of the Eagle Scouts are very proud of their achievement, but every scout that's been involved in the program should be, a, should be very uh, pleased with achieving whatever rank they end up with. Now, there are far more non-Eagles than there are Eagle Scouts. That is to be expected. This is a very rare achievement. And never feel guilty about that at all. If you made it to life as a life scout rank scout, that's great. And that's wonderful. And you should be proud of that achievement. At no time should you feel embarrassed about any of that or made fun of. That just wouldn't be scouting, would it? Hey, before we go any further, I want to make sure that you are invited to come to the live meeting. The live meeting is on the first Sunday of each month at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So please join us. Now, you're going to have to adjust for whatever time zone you're in. But please join us and join in. That's a great way to ask questions, and I'm there to answer them. Also, I want to personally thank all of the patrons on Patreon for their continued financial support. Also, if you would like to become a channel member right here on YouTube, hit the join button and go through that process. It's a great way to help fund what you see here. If you don't want to do a monthly donation, that's fine. We have a thank you button. Just hit the thank you button and make a one-time donation. That is always appreciated. And let's get right back to it. Now in scouting, we take the, the scout oath, the three promises that we make in the scout oath. The very first one is to God and country. And a lot of Eagle Scouts have become clergy or work with churches. Uh, part of their life is to the church. And then there's others that go on into government. And they might even be a policeman, a fireman, a rescue. There's so many things that they do. And that plays in to another big, huge part of the scout oath. The third, the second part, excuse me, the third part is to yourself. The, la the middle one there really is to, to help others. That is critical. It's a critical thing um, in the scout oath. Now, Eagle Scouts take it upon themselves to move that, that, that oath, that promise, forward for the rest of their lives. That is the critical thing. They use the first and the second parts, and the third part helps hold it together. Okay? And that's what's so wonderful about it. And one of the critical things within the oath, within that part of it, is that it's all based on keywords found in the Scout Law. That is so important for people to really understand that Eagle Scouts represent the oath and the Scout Law. Now it's natural for Eagle Scouts to take on leadership because they were trained on how to be an effective and good leader. So you'll find them being the managers, the leads, the supervisor, the, even the CEOs of the company. It is so important that this skill is given to young people so that they can have the tools in their toolbox to succeed. That is so important. And when you go through the honor roll of Eagle Scouts, it is amazing to me how many were incredible to whatever thing they were doing. And it's, it's based on those skills that were taught to them through becoming an Eagle Scout. And I know for a fact that when I did hiring, that was a, that was a part of my career, uh, when I was doing hiring, if there was ever anyone with an Eagle on their application, okay, they got an Eagle Scout, they're gonna get an interview, okay? Even if I don't have a job that fits their skills, I'll find them one. And that was one of the big things that I, wanted to make sure that Eagle Scouts knew that I would go the extra mile and I'd make sure they get employed and gain full employment. 
So that was one of those things that I did uh, back when I was doing that kind of stuff. It is just amazing. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that continue what I was doing in helping, you know, scouts that were getting an application and starting off on a career. I, I wanted to make sure that that was passed on, and I did that within the companies. Now, you never should hear an Eagle Scout say, I was an Eagle Scout. No, that's not it. They are an Eagle Scout, always. 100% of the time, from the time they were approved, all the way through to their dying day, they are an Eagle Scout the whole time. It's forever. It is, that is literally a task that's given to young people to take on for the rest of their lives. Now, there have been 12 men who have walked on the moon uh, in the early, from 69 to about, I think it was 74. <laughs> I'm not really sure on that date, but it was that time period uh, where men were on those missions to the moon. And 12 walked on the surface. There was only two that went down out of the three. Only two went down to the surface of the moon. Only one of those astronauts that landed on the surface of the moon, only one was not in scouting as a youth. Now, astronaut Conrad on Apollo 12, uh, which, who walked on the moon, was actually in Cub Scouting, never went into a troop. Astronaut Aldrin from Apollo 11 and astronaut Schmidt from Apollo 17 were tenderfoot scouts. Astronaut Young from Apollo 16 and an astronaut Cernan from Apollo 17 achieved the second class rank in scouting. Astronaut Bean from Apollo 12 and Shepard from Apollo 14 achieved first class. Astronaut Mitchell from Apollo 14 and Scott from Apollo 15 achieved life rank. Astronaut Neil Armstrong and Charles Duke are the only two Eagle Scouts who have walked on the surface of the moon. Now that could all change in the very near future. We are going back to the moon, so that could all change. We hope that those leadership skills can carry over. Uh, in the space program, and I and I know it does. Okay, so it it's a concern, but it is something that is it is important, but not essential. When I was growing up, I was told that all of the astronauts that went to the moon were uh, uh, test pilots, and that was a requirement. No, it's not a requirement <laughs> to be a test pilot. It is actually. A, um, it, it is recommended. It, it puts your application ahead of others. Um, that's, that's one of those things. It's one of those qualifications that they look for is that dedication towards a goal. So that's, that's, the, that's the thing they need to demonstrate that they look at Eagle Scout as that example. It's very important that you understand that no matter what rank you achieved in scouting, that's wonderful. If you were never available to scouting, if the program wasn't where you were, that's, that's unfortunate. But now that you're involved in scouting, help facilitate those scouts towards a very worth it goal. And we do so much for our scouts. We've got to keep up that good, hard work. It's so important. Please keep that in mind as you move forward with your life scouts towards their goal of becoming an eagle. Remember, once an eagle scout, always and forever an eagle scout. And you can make that happen. You can help them achieve. Keep up that good hard work like I know you will and I'll see you on the trail.